everybody wants to know what was the process mm. um, to um, <clears throat> you know the interview or audition yeah. for it. I I just assume they probably just called you and just gave it to you because you seem like a perfect. Oh favorite. oh, child, please <laughs> you make me sleep, child, please. <laughs> well, don't get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I got five. Don't seconds. dash, don't five. dash my dreams. Yeah, <laughs> sister. No. They just called me and no. said, "Come on yeah. through." There have been some times. I've been yeah. quiet. I knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. You're right. I knock on this right here. Hey, but this was one of those ones where it just came along, and, and it was a Sunday, as a matter of fact. Okay. It was a Sunday. And you know, these days the business has changed, and I'm not going to draw this out too long. Mm-hmm. The business has changed a lot. Back in the old, when I say the old days, I can kind of relate to that. And then we had to get on the road, child, and drive. <laughs> you know, go down there, and, and they weren't even sending no VHSs back then. Right. You, you know, got to drive down. Right. You know, I don't care if it's one line. You right. got to drive. You got to drive. Okay. That's a whole day trip to try to. You know, that's how audition process was. Or. If they're in your town, like the producers or the directors come and cast locally or somewhat locally, you get to go inside the room and meet people. Right. You know what I'm saying? You get to go in and say hello, like we're doing right now. You say, okay, cool. You sound, you seem like a decent person. Let's see what you got. Let's look at this page. Well, we don't get to do that as often anymore because of the digital world. And I remember when it first started, like, you know, digital. What? I can just send this in? I ain't got to drive all the way over here. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about like six hours each way, eight hours. Right. Kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, this is cool. But then now it's changed a little bit because a lot of a lot of actors, if you, you know, if you've been around a little while, you kind of remember some of those times that you don't get a chance to get inside the room like you used to. Right. You don't get that interaction. Like this right here is, is better than you what you have to do when you send in a tape. Oh. At least I can be talking to you for a little while. We can read together. Right. Whoever it is in the corner that's doing the podcast, you can read you can read with me. You can kind of that's, that's a step even better. We thought it was the bomb. Man, I ain't got to go, you know? Right. But what happened was, to circle back around for a circle, it was a Sunday, it was a small, it was a little something to read. And I told my wife, I said, look, baby, you wanna help me record this? You know, cause sometimes you have to jump in. It's a Sunday, you don't wanna call nobody to come over and record. I don't feel like going to nobody else out right. to record. <laughs> McCordy, my like like you in your house, you in your space right yeah, now. I like see, to think. Well, actually, I'm yeah. in somebody's you in your, space. <laughs> okay, well, you must have been there in a way. You right. know, you feel comfortable in that space. Yes, you can't yes, just be reading. Yes, you can't do yes, this to everybody's house. Right. You can't go to everybody's house and do this. No, you can't. You got to be somewhere where it feel good. The spirit got to be right. Right. It is. Energy got and to it be is. right. Yes. And I live in this. Oh, I work in the spirit business, not in the power business. Let you. I work in the spirit business. Come on, come so on. that being said, yeah. my, my wife helped me record it on Sunday. I sent in Sunday afternoon, and I think by Wednesday I was going to Woman. I was going to uh, to uh, Mount Pleasant. It happened just that fast, you know. Red sent it in. They called like Monday and was like, "Hey, we like what you've done." They thought about it for another half a day, and they said, "You know, we want to go ahead and hire you. Come on down here, let's work." Wow. And I was like, "Hey, wow!" Sure enough, and that's how it happened. And ironically enough, I'm gonna add this to it. Ironically enough, that's the first time since I graduated. From Claflin University in 1993, it's the first time I ever worked in South Carolina. Really? First job ever. Wow. And that's like my second home, you know? That's yes. where the whole country is. Right. Uh oh, who that is? <laughs> I think there's a person that. You got out of there real fast. Okay. You see, don't try to come into the camera. You think you slick. Okay, come and just put your face in here real fast and say hi. Where is come, she? Come, come say where hi. Is she? Hi. She's beautiful. That's my baby. Hi, honey. This, this, say hi. hi. See, that was hi. the, that was the. Okay, bye. Yeah. Okay, bye. Oh bye. my goodness, bye. she's so cute. Look, I can come that's my little, that's my little monster. Yeah, we we're gonna be done in a little while. We having some fun on this thing. Right there, you go. So, how did you develop the character Haywood? Okay, so I will say, when you ask me what. You know what are the definites? What are the building blocks of, say, for instance, whatever the craft you want to call the craft? Right. There's certain things that you learn, certain things you know. There's protocol, there's ethics okay. that you bring to the table with okay. you. Okay. Then you start. Now we're talking about another level of building a character. Mm-hmm. Okay. I start with the page. Okay. I've been on the stage, you know, thousands and thousands of man hours, and I know other actors. Everybody has their technique. And they'll create biographies for characters and stuff like that. And they'll create them, okay? 
Um, and I think that's, I didn't say think, excuse me, I ain't getting in trouble with this. That's great work. And I do some of that also. But what I start with, what I call is the breadth of the character. That's good. And the breadth of the character starts from the page that's there. Mm -hmm. I can take anything and expound on mm -hmm. it and do whatever I want with it. But what is there, because you're not going to come in here and just create a whole script. You know what I'm saying? It's already there. Right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm here to work. Right. So what are my words? What am I saying? What is my relationship? You know, what are my objectives to say the least? What do I want and what am I doing to get it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's how I build from there. Ironically enough, Haywood is somebody that I I experienced, somebody I've known somewhere along the line. It can be a culmination, a meatball of people that you've experienced in your life. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So all these seasonings are in there. And you, I've, I've tasted that before. I've tasted right. this before. Right. You couple that with your life lessons right. and what you do know. I fish every year with my brothers. We go down to Bahamas and, and go fishing. I try to get there every year. We go down to Freeport, spend a whole week oh, catching wow. snappers. And so I'm a, I'm a fisherman anyway. Right. Okay. When it comes to oysters and shucking oysters, I've been doing that my, my whole adult life. So I know what that feels like. Mm -hmm. But I got to go back to the breath. Because mm -hmm. it's not me, mm -hmm. it's Hayward. Right. And what is his set of circumstances, you know? Right. What is his family? Right. He's trying to raise a young man right. and hold down a business. Wow. And when we start out of banks, we had pretty much cat catastrophe. A hurricane just came through. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like you add that to it. Right. You know, how high are the stakes for one, for two or three, I should say. I mean, there's different levels that people use, but then also you always got to bring some of yourself, you know, to the role. So I bring the technical, I bring the, the common sense aspect mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. You bring your own experiences to it. And then you also, you do sense memory of like, what have you actually seen and who have you actually known? And, and it's, you know, it's multifaceted. Mm -hmm. But you know, my, my, my process obviously is not, you know, number one, but hey, I've, I've found a way to, to, you know, make something work. So those are like maybe three or four levels of what I've done to right. create the character of Hayward. Hayward found me, wow. you know? Wow. Hayward, Hayward drew good. from me. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's Hayward good. drew from me. He drew from my spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm in the spirit business. So that's kind of the, the long and short. Yeah. That was yeah. really good. Yeah.